Here we're going to look at binary trees, specifically binary search trees, and the representation we're going to use in Racket. So some basic tree vocabulary, much of which should be familiar to you. A leaf is a node that doesn't have any children. A subtree is just a particular portion of the tree rooted at a particular node. A root is the topmost node. Um, again, we refer to a child node and parent nodes. And the height is the number of nodes on the longest path from root to a leaf. This is not a binary tree. This, this root R has three children. A binary tree will only have zero, one, or two children. But here's some basic tree vocabulary. So we're going to be looking at binary search trees. These are a very particular type of tree. First, every node has zero, one, or two subtrees. So look in this tree. This is a binary search tree, and every node has zero, one, or two children. Each node also has a key. So the key, if we were using this as a dictionary, would be what we would look up. So we might look up someone's name to find their phone number. And there the key would be what you look up, and the value is what would be returned. But here we are just using keys. It's, we don't need to keep around the extra value for simplicity. The root value is always greater than all of the nodes in the left subtree. So look at this node 42. Everything in its left subtree is smaller than 42. Everything in the right subtree of 42 is bigger than that. And it holds true for every single node in the tree. It is always true that their left subtree is all the nodes are smaller, and in the right subtree, all the nodes are larger. And in our binary search trees, we're only going to have distinct keys. So you can't have two copies of any key in the tree. Next, we're going to look at this representation. So here at the bottom, we have this representing the tree shown above. Here I have my tree on the right and my representation in racket on the left. The first thing in my list representing a binary tree is always going to be the key of that root node of that subtree. So here it's 42. Then I'll look at this is the second element in my list. And this second element in my list represents the entire left subtree with at rooted at 42. So this second piece, starting with 100, is the right subtree. So here I have the subtree starting with 20. The first thing in its list is the key 20. And the subtree starting with 100, the first thing in its list is the number 100. Similarly, if we look just at the subtree with 20, starting at 20, its second element in that list is its left subtree. Its left subtree is just this single node 12 that doesn't have any children. So here it shows you how we represent a leaf or a node that has no children. Its second element is here. It's the subtree with rooted at 21. That one has no left child, so that's represented as an empty list. And its right subtree is represented here. This subtree, so the key, is the first thing in that list, which is 35. And it has two subtrees here, the left and the right are those two subtrees. And again, this is all within this subtree rooted at 20.